students, this week we're going to be learning to draw a llama in a sweater. Because what more could you want in life? Actually, after I drew this, my llama looks more like a cat llama. So you can make this a dog llama, make this a llama llama, make this a llama mama. Whatever you want to make it, just make it cool. We're going to be making, um, using texture, we're going to be using patterns, and we're going to be creating a background by filling our space. So those are the art elements, line. Um, we can create patterns by using lines. We're going to create texture. That's the way something feels. If you were to touch it, we're going to use visual texture. And then we're going to create a background and fill our space on our paper. Hope you have fun doing this. I can't wait to get started. This project, you'll need a pencil and eraser. You're going to need a white piece of paper. You'll need something to color with crayons or markers or both. You're going to need some heart to put in your art. Go ahead and hit the pause button and gather your materials. First direction is always the same. Pick up your pencil and write your name because no name, no fame. Flip your paper like a pancake. This week we're holding our paper vertical. That means the tall way. Some people call this the hamburger way. First thing we're going to do is find the top part of our paper, leave a little space from the top, and you're going to draw two curved lines. These are going to serve as the eyelids of your llama. We're going to connect them with a curved line and then another kind of smiley face curved line. So you have an eyelid and now an eyeball. You can draw your eyes however you want, just make sure they're at the top of your paper. I'm going to shade mine in to remind myself when I'm outlining to color that part in. I'm going to do a heart nose in between my eyes. You can draw whatever shape you'd like. And then I'm going to use a curved line, kind of like a J, to create my llama's mouth. I'm going to add another curved line in the middle just to give him a little chin. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to use two vertical lines going up to the top of your paper. You're going to connect those by adding a diagonal line on either side and then connecting them with a straight line or a zigzag line, kind of like hair. As I'm drawing this, I'm realizing that my llama looks more like a cat and that is okay because I am using my imagination. <laughs> the next thing you're going to do is connect your head with a straight line, we're gonna. I'm gonna put my llama in a scarf, and so how I'm doing that is I'm just gonna be drawing some curved lines around the neck that kind of go a little bit farther than the head. I'm gonna connect those by the corner. See where my pencil is? I'm just gonna connect that part to the head, so it looks like the scarf is actually going around the head. I'm gonna add another layer of the scarfs by adding another two. Um, diagonal lines and then a horizontal line connecting it and I'm gonna do this one more time Scarfs usually have a little tail that hangs out after you wrap it around your neck So I'm gonna use that um, By adding it to the bottom part of my scarf The next thing I'm gonna do is add the little tassels that would be hanging from where my scarf has been knitted I'm going to finish off the bottom by adding a long llama neck or a little side. I'll stick it up my paper so you can see what I drew. I just connected it to the edges of my paper using a zigzag line. You can do this however you want if you want to make his neck a little bit skinny or go off to the side like he has a llama back. However you want to make your llama do it. For this next step, I'm going to be using Crayola markers and I'm just going to be outlining my drawing to make it a little bit more bold. I am going to go ahead and make those straight lines more of a zigzag so it looks more like the texture of a llama's fur. And so you can do this with your marker or your crayon. Crayons work just fine, whatever materials you have at home. I'm going to outline the entire drawing and then I'm going to highlight and make some textures with a different color marker.
Now that I've finished outlining, I'm just going to take a black and gray marker and I'm going to kind of go around the sides of my llama just to add a little bit more value and dimension to the lines that I made look like texture. I just used some zigzag lines around his face and around the ears. Maybe your llama's a girl, maybe you want to add some hair at the top, that's up to you. Um, but I'm just going to go around with my gray marker and add some visual texture. Um, using lines. Then I'm going to use a crayon. The reason I'm using a crayon is because I want it to look like it's fur. So my marker is just the outlining making it bold and stand out and then I'm just going to color in all different types of directions to make my llama look like it fur. This part doesn't have to be neat. You can actually scribble scrabble in the fur because fur grows in different directions. So you're going to do this to the bottom and the top. If you don't want your llama to be gray, you want it to be a rainbow llama, you go for it. Your llama is your llama. No drama here. After I'm done coloring the fur, I'm going to go ahead and add some details. So I'm going to make my llamas the inside of their ear a little bit pink. Um, you could do gray or black if you wanted to. You could also do the nose if you wanted to. Um, and then we're going to start adding some details. So I decided midway through this drawing that I wanted my llama to wear glasses. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm just going to draw using some basic lines and a curved line, straight line and a curved line to make some glasses. And I'm going to fill those in. You don't have to add glasses to yours if you don't want to. Maybe you want your llama to wear earbuds or maybe you want them to wear earmuffs. Maybe your llama is wearing a hat. Whatever you want to add a detail to your llama, do it. So I'm going to finish off my glasses. The next step is going to be to add decorations or patterns to our llama's scarf. Now for the fun and creative part, pretend you are a scarf designer. You are going to be adding different patterns and lines and shapes to make patterns in your llama scarf. Remember, a pattern is anything that repeats. So if you look at my llama scarf right now, I have triangles that are in a repeating pattern. In between those triangles, I'm going to add a different pattern. Maybe I will add crayons. You could use both crayons and markers to give your um, llama a little bit more of dimension in your art by using mixed media. That means you're using more than one supply. I'm going to keep adding textures and patterns to my scarf and then I'm going Going to be adding a background. So since my llama is wearing a scarf, I guess it's going to be cold outside so I'm going to add some snowflakes in the background just to give it a little bit more, you know, color in the background. I don't really like to have white space in my artwork. So if you want to add a background to yours, you could. Maybe your llama is on a farm. Maybe your llama is in a house. Put your llama wherever you want to. I'm going to put mine in the snow because I would like to see some snow in North Carolina. I'm adding snowflakes by just doing the letter X and then adding lines. Um, I'm going to add some swirls to make it look like the wind is blowing. And I'm using cool colors because cool colors remind me that the temperature is cold outside. I hope that you had fun with this project. And I hope that I can see some of your artwork and you'll upload it to Canvas by uploading a picture or sending a quick video. Have fun! <laughs>